Hello to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. And today in the studio we have Tadeusz Seka, a director and also a producer of a new movie about Wyszyński, Cardinal Wyszyński, Revenge or Forgiveness. It would be a title in English version if we had a title in English version. As I understand, we wait for it. But it's still not at the cinemas. You finishing it, the last scratches. But tell me, please, who was Cardinal Wyszyński and why actually you're making a film about him? So many questions, so I will do my best to answer all of them. So first of all, thank you for the invitation, because I think that this is one of the best um, Polish channels uh, among, uh, among foreigners. What I can say, it's unusual that we had the chance to make a movie about Wyszyński, especially about completely unknown part of his life, especially uh, 1944 the year when we had a very uh, tragical moment in our history, uh, Warsaw Uprising, and we need to know that he was a chaplain uh, in the, let's say, Armia Krajowa. He was lieutenant, and nobody knows that. You know, when we ask the, the, the young people, when we ask some bishops, they say, wow, we didn't know. We, to be we, honest, I didn't know myself that. So that's the reason why we are making that movie. Uh, yes, we want to also try uh, try to show that movie in the United States, uh, also in Australia, um, in Europe as well. But we will see how it will be with but the pandemic. But Wyszynski, of course, he's not, he was not the most important when it comes to his actions during the, uh, the war surprise. And he became a cardinal and an important person in the Polish church. Why? That's it. And we just find out during the research, uh, when we start our preparation with this uh, scenario, that uh, in uh, his private uh, notebook, he, he, he said that war, World War II, established himself somehow. So it create him. him. I understand. Create him. So uh, this is important because right now, uh, all the people uh, in Poland, they just find out from when and from where his strength and power comes from. Because uh, during the Warsaw Uprising, he was a, a soldier, he was a chaplain, he was responsible uh, for the military hospital. So he was the witness of the war. And we want to show that in the movie. And uh, I think that the most important let's say, uh, thing in that process is to, uh, to show that the, the person of the Wyszynski among young people. Because uh, this movie will be dedicated also to the old priests. Um, it will be not dedicated to ourselves because we decided that the, the, the modern time shows that we need to dedicated something to the heroes and the priests somehow are heroes well many priests took part in the world war i mean in the uprising as well in the world war ii altogether and many of them are forgotten because they that's it they fell yeah. somewhere and this is somehow our mission our studio high hope films together with Maciej, that we want to show the stories uh, which are completely f forgotten right uh, uh, and i think that somehow we'll try to touch the topic uh, what we can say that we already win because uh, we had a few days ago a press conference, uh, many journalists came. What we can say that right now people in Poland, they are aware what Wyszynski Accomplished and did, and of course, Wyszynski is a person which we all recognize as a great, was a great cardinal, and was a, I would say, one of the hardest beating in the Polish Church in 20th century, next to the John Paul II. So, and right now we are also very soon facing his beatification. By the decision of the cardinal uh, Kazimierznicz, uh, he is the host of the oral all uh, ceremonies uh, related to the beatification. Our movie will be the official movie of the beatification of the Wyszynski and Matka Czacka. Because this is also the important thing that in the movie we will show also uh, Matka Ruzza Czacka. Exactly. Tell us a few words about her, because uh, she's not that recognizable as Wyszynski was, but in, as I understand, she also will face the beatification. She needed to play an important role in all of That's this. That's it, yeah. Uh, 
this is very special because Małgorzata Kożuchowska, uh, she will become uh, Matka Róża Czacka on the big screen. And what's, in, what, what's important in that story that they They've been together in the Warsaw Uprising. I mean, Czacka and Wyszyński, they spent those 63 days together in Laski, the small village uh, 13, 15 kilometers from the central Warsaw. They spent together uh, in that time. So uh, they support each other. So we can say right now that uh, we are showing two future saints in our movie. And we will understand from whom Wyszyński also takes support and so on. And Matka Czacka, that's a story for the, the second movie, actually, because um, she was from the noble family and uh, she became blind when she was probably, I don't know, 25, 26, something like that, because she fell down from the horse. And uh, the doctor said to her that you got one year and after that one year, you will become blind. So she spent all of the money to learn how to surf for the blind people. And she established a special school in Lasky, special hospital for the all blinds from the whole Poland. This part will be also shown in the movie, how Wyszyński live over there, what he's doing for all of those blind people, and later on during the Warsaw Uprising for all of the soldiers and so on. So we'll show the friendship between two future saints and also their beginning. Because and we will talk more about it in the next episode. And that's, of course, an invitation for you as well. The movie about Wyszyński is coming to the movie theaters. And stay with us for the next episode to learn what it will be about. And thank you for watching Poland Daily.